I am so excited, I can't stand it. I am about to unbox my upcoming collections that I painted in collaboration with Irving Garden Prints. Can't wait to see them. This was such fun to get to do. Um, you know, my, my passion in life is to curate beauty around me always. And in doing that, I've kind of accumulated this love of creating almost new worlds within my artwork. And I did two collections for Urban Garden Prints that I think really do introduce that well to uh, the world. This is my first time putting my art out into the world. And what I really hope happens is that every person who brings my artwork into their home, I hope that it does everything and more that you need it to do for whatever space it's going to be in. And I hope that it brings you joy. I hope it brings you excitement. Here we go. Fragile. I'm gonna let the rest be a surprise. On June 9th, my collection launches on urbangardenprints.com. I'm gonna be putting together something that I have been dreaming up in my head for a while. Um, I, as an artist, I have different inspirations constantly. So what I've discovered about my workspace this is my desk where I paint. What I've discovered about my workspace is that it needs to be able to shift and change with my moods, with my inspirations, and with each project. So I needed a bulletin board. But I didn't just want a bulletin board. No. I want a giant bulletin board. If I was gonna get a big bulletin board that would be beautiful, I was gonna pay a lot of money for it. But I bought the materials to make this bulletin board. And when I say materials, I just mean the frame and the, the actual bulletin board material itself. So I'm literally going to be putting this bulletin board into a frame, putting it up here, and then decorating this bulletin board. And I'm so excited because I've wanted to be able to have different stuff to look at because I love my Scotland tea towel. It's my homeland, but it's just, I can't always only look at one thing. And I also am a lifelong room rearranger. So, yeah. Let's see if this works. Here we go. So this bulletin board is from Amazon. And luckily, it comes with foam that I could use if I needed to pad the frame. It's up! I know what you're thinking. Do you have a plan? I really, I don't. But I did um, bring some of my favorite things that I thought would be good anchors for the bulletin board. So these are some pieces that I'm gonna use on the bulletin board. This is a really sweet note from a colleague. Um, this is Mary Antoinette's 
bedroom. And then this is a chateau in Italy that I adore. The blue shutters on this house. I put the names on each artwork because I don't want to not know who's done these amazing things. And this one is by Paul Montgomery. I, I'm obsessed with the coloring. I love all of his work. It's so whimsical. And that's going to be a good backdrop. This is by Riley Sheehy, who I love. This is the Mystic Garden print. I am absolutely in love with the colors. And I love topiaries. I grew up with my mom putting topiaries everywhere in the house. And so topiaries are very special to me. I'm just going to get started. Putting it up here and see where the spirit moves me. Okay, so a really fun and organic thing has started happening as I put this bulletin board together. The blue tones are all seeming to look great on the left side. The green tones are in the middle. And I'm thinking the pinks are gonna be here, but I need more pink things. Um, but yeah, this is what I've got so far, and I really am, am so happy that I'm going to be able to put things up here as I go, as I get inspired, but yeah, this is what I've got for now. Um, I'm going to keep adding to it. And now we are off to the lake for a wonderful long Memorial Day weekend. to come down here and see this. Wow. Oh, this is just beautiful. Are you comfortable, sir? <laughs> Come on, baby girl. I'm trying a new kind of bird today. Um, I'm trying a parakeet in flight. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm painting with the best view ever. Not painting, I'm drawing. And just like that, the sun set on our last day at the lake. Then we headed to my family's house. Zach likes to hunt for golf balls that have been left. <laughs> so Zach, tell people about this journey that you're on of golf balls. Looking for golf balls. <laughs> hey, usually if you hit them out of bounds, they bounce back in off the street here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how intently Zach is looking. This is hilarious. We got a few unsuspecting players. That there's nothing? Nothing. <laughs> I hope nothing falls off this guy. Oh, I want a front porch like that. Steven's dad, best father in law ever, he gave us a hydrangea bush. You want to get a sister? I'm digging a hole now. And I came across this root. Um, 
but it should be fine. I'm okay to get through it, right? Do you think this tree <laughs> is depending on this little root here? No. I think it'll be fine. Okay. Listen, I don't garden. I'm really tired. I don't have a green thumb, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Really want blue hydrangeas to be beside that hydrangea bush. I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. It's done. I did not expect them to be purple. I expected them to be blue, like the neighbor here. But you know what? I actually love it. It's like a lavender, light purple, almost pink. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so pretty. This is Duck Pond in Atlanta. Steven and I went for an after church walk. The breeze was just beautiful, so I had to share some footage of it with you. Please like this video and comment if you found it fun. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as well. I'd love to have you. I'll see you guys next time.